Hi friends, Budget Girl here, and I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you got to spend time with your families and eat way too much food and generally give thanks for the blessings that you have in your life. So I've got a lot of wins and no fails actually so far, but this is for the week before the week of Thanksgiving. So I am pre-filming this for you so I can spend a little bit of time with my family this week. So let's jump in. First off, I had a sudden $111 car expense. I had a tire blow. It just kind of exploded on me. It kind of dry rotted through a couple of places. It died suddenly. Fortunately, it was on a Saturday. I didn't have anywhere I really needed to be, but I did suddenly find myself needing to replace a tire for $111. Fortunately, I not only have my emergency fund, I have my car sinking fund, which is funded every single month through a sinking fund that builds up for exactly a case like this. So all I did was pull the money out of my car sinking fund and pay the bill. Easy as pie, it doesn't even affect my budget this month. So I'm pretty thrilled about that. My favorite thing about not being in debt anymore and having savings is that emergencies like this become an inconvenience instead of devastating. So, all right, next up, I got a free coffee from Starbucks because I went with a coworker and we were discussing some work things and so she was able to use her college's card to buy me a latte which i got a vanilla skinny vanilla latte with an extra shot of espresso and it is now my new favorite drink so good so good i don't think i've ever tried it before but i also get starbucks maybe once a year so i don't want to have a drink <laughs> all right next up i got a free very delicious lunch by participating in a thanksgiving potluck held at the college I uh, brought in my mashed potatoes, my Mississippi mashed potatoes, which I made uh, for a video for you guys. And so I brought all of those in. I kind of timed it so I could film those, put up the video and bring in the food because I made five pounds of mashed potatoes to the potluck. It was kind of a two birds with one stone type situation and it was actually a diversity potluck. So there were dishes from all around the world because we have students from all around the world in the college I work at. So it was, it was really neat and I got to participate. I got to use food that I otherwise might, I would have eaten too much of by myself. It was much better to eat a full meal of delicious food from all over the world than for me to figure out a way to eat five pounds of potatoes or even freeze five pounds of potatoes and people enjoyed them. I didn't have any leftovers. So that was excellent. I will link that video down below if you would like to learn how to make my three ingredient easy peasy showstopper mashed potatoes. That's what they were called. When is that it has been really mild out lately. It is starting to get a little cold in Texas, but instead of running the heat or the air, I've actually been leaving my porch door open with the screen shut and just kind of cooling my apartment that way because it does get just a little bit stuffy in here. And if it gets too cold, I just kind of pile on the blankets when I'm at home and it's actually really nice. So I anticipate kind of a low electric bill next month. Always a frugal one. I also wrote a couple of freelance articles for a website. I've been doing this a little bit and I'm not gonna be doing it anymore. It was a much bigger time suck than I originally anticipated. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to writing and considering that's what I do for a day, my day job, that makes sense. Um, so I, you know, I did another month's worth, but um, I'm gonna stop doing those, but it was a little bit more money in the bank for my savings. So yay, baby step three, that will get a little extra funding this month. And finally, I made Christmas envelopes for my family. I'm actually leaving tomorrow to go home to Mississippi for Thanksgiving. For This is one of the first holidays I've ever actually gotten days off because I no longer work for a newspaper. I work for a university, so they have days off for non-essential personnel for holidays, which is really cool because normally I'd be working for a newspaper and throughout my whole career so far, I'd be covering all the Thanksgiving related events. We'd still have, you know, newspapers we had to get out. So I never really had holidays off. I might get Christmas day, but we'd work late Christmas night to get out a paper before the day of. So my holidays have always been kind of crazy and busy. And now I actually get a full week off 
for Christmas, which is nuts, and I get um, two and a half days off for Thanksgiving, which is so very cool, but I'm leaving tomorrow for Mississippi, and Beth and I and Vince are all going to go Black Friday shopping. Yay, so I have pulled out cash, and I have prepared their cash envelope. So, if you didn't know, in my family, because there are a lot of new budget friends, there are a lot of new budget friends here now, uh, in my family, we actually do something called the Christmas envelope exchange. And so we figure out in our budget what we have to spend on another person. And then we actually just give them that in an envelope. And then we all go shopping together for Christmas presents for each other and for ourselves on Black Friday weekend. And we get all of our Christmas shopping done in one go. And there's not a lot of surprise to our Christmas presents because we've picked them out ourselves and helped each other pick them out. But you also, since you give them back to the person who gave you the envelope, you wrap them up and you don't see them for a month. Or they wrap them up and you don't see them for a month until you get under the tree. Generally, we forget what we've gotten by that point. And every single thing that you get at Christmas is something that you really want and love and have picked out yourself and will be able to use. So there's nothing wasted. There's nothing that's gonna collect dust. It's all things that you're going to love because you pick them out yourself. So that's the way we've done Christmas in my family forever. I'm super excited about it. Um, so yeah, Christmas envelopes are ready to go and I will be Black Friday shopping away with my family getting all of our Christmas done at once. I do have a video on more of that process. If you're interested, I will link it down below because it's kind of cool. Now, if you have kids in a family, obviously you're probably not gonna wanna hand them an envelope full of money and tell them that, you know, Santa outsourced this year and you should pick out your own presents, but in my family, we're all adults. And adults generally like picking out what they like. And because we're all shopping together, we're not just, you know, pocketing the money. We're actively spending it on stuff, which then we'll get to open on Christmas day. So it's, it's just a cool tradition. Give it a think. Check out the video below if you are interested. It's, it's worked for a really long time for my family and I really enjoy it. So those are all of my wins. And also because we use cash envelopes for Christmas, nobody in my family charges anything. No one's paying interest on anything. Once Christmas is over, it's not following us into the new year. And finally, it's congratulations time. I have a lot this week and don't forget while you're here to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like the video for not just my frugal wins, but all the ones I'm about to list because these are awesome. First off, working mom ramblings, finished baby step one, way to go working mom. Melissa McGovern paid off two debts, woohoo. Lynn E. paid off a credit card this week. Way to go, Lynn. Kelly Ann paid off all of her credit cards. Woo! <laughs> uh, Heidi Young paid off all of her credit cards and is now moving on to student loan debt repay off. High five to you, Heidi. Samantha Gray is debt free. Yes. Oh, that is so exciting. That is so exciting. Tiffany likes to dance. A longtime budget girl viewer is also debt free. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Tiffany. I know you feel a giant weight off of your shoulders. And next, Christina Bailey is also debt free. That is wonderful. Congratulations, Christina. Welcome to the debt free club. Finally, Thea Erickson finished her baby step three. Yes, this is the one that I'm working on right now. I am so happy for you, Thea. And that's all for the money milestones. Congratulations today. If you have a money milestone that you have hit, if you've paid off a credit card, if you've finished baby step four or five or seven or any of them, or just hit a major financial milestone in your life, I want to celebrate with you because I know that your friends and family may not get it. But we here in the debt-free community totally get it and we know how hard you've worked because we're doing the exact same thing. So leave your comments down below with your frugal wins and fails of the week and don't forget to tell me if you've hit a money milestone. Don't forget to like the video and I will see you next time. Goodbye.